And if there's one thing that you say is Joy's legacy that she should be most proud of, what would you say? I would say all of her writing and teaching around trauma and its impact on young children. To me, that's her biggest legacy. I don't, I mean, she has helped us think about that in a way to me that's for me it's been uh transformational as a clinician i would say that she has helped me to think about how trauma is insidious that it you know she hasn't done the physiologic research that I talked about, but she's done a lot of research on what trauma means to children's everyday lives, what it means for how they respond to their teachers, what it means for how they respond to their parents, what it means for how they feel about themselves. And, and that has helped me to really think about, for example, how you traumatize children unintentionally. Just to focus on the kids whom I know the best and have worked the most on kids in child welfare, how we are unintentionally traumatizing children in, the, in their best interest, so we say, by moving them into foster homes, by moving them into adoptive homes, by moving them back <laughs> to their birth families over and over and over again. And how, if you don't take that into consideration, not just in your decision-making, but in how you support these children through it, then you've done them a disservice. So that's, that's the joy that I uh, carry in my head when I you know, think about my work.